stay alive. Just to stay alive. Just to stay alive. Yeah. Just to stay alive. Just to stay alive. Pouring out my heart. Hey there. Praise God the Father, the immortal creator. For your glory you made us, you're the sovereign orchestrator. All that you decree will most surely come to happen. Your awesome as can be, and your glory none can fathom. Nothing could ever stain you, the heavens can't contain you. We thank you for sending your son to explain you. Otherwise, we would have remained in the dark. But you sent your Holy Spirit to spark a change in our hearts. According to your eternal purpose and will, you determined to reveal yourself to those who deserve to be killed. Those of us whom you foreknew adore you. We praise you that you predestined us to be conformed to the image of your Son, who's Baby, the radiance run. of your glory. When I meditate on it, the weightiness of it floors me. So, Father, we'll praise you over and over again because you sent your only Son to atone for our sin. Yo, glory to the Father. To Welcome to St. Philip's Episcopal Church in Jacksonville, Florida. We're so glad you've chosen to join us today as we worship the Lord together. The church is such a special place to be, even online. You may have heard people refer to church congregation as the body of Christ. This is because the Bible explained each of us individual members of one whole body. Well, today the entire service will be led by a special part of the body of Christ by the children and youth at St. Philip's. I hope you enjoy our service. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. It is not ourselves we proclaim. We proclaim Christ Jesus as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For the same God who said out of darkness, let light shine, has caused his light to shine within us to give the light of revelation, the revelation of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the lamp of charity, which never fails, that it may burn in us and shed its light on those around us, and that by its brightness we may have a vision of that holy city where dwells the true and never-failing light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory. O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God forever and ever, amen. Father in heaven, by the grace of your virgin mother, over your incarnate son was blessed and bearing him but still more blessed in keeping your word grant us who honor the exhalation of her loneliness to follow example of her devotion to your will through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen O oh, gracious light pure brightness of the ever-living father in heaven 
of Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms 113. Hallelujah. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth. He takes up the weak out of the dust and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them with the princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the woman of a childless house to be a joyful mother of children. Glory to the Father and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The lesson comes from John chapter 1, verse 1 through 16. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being with him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name. He gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, this was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness, we all have received grace upon grace, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Here ends the lesson. Thank you. 
greatest doctrines in the Bible is represented by a word that isn't even found in the Bible. That word is Trinity. The word Trinity has the same prefix as the word triangle, which has three sides, and the word tricycle, which has three wheels, and even the word tripod. You guessed it, it has three legs. The prefix tri means three of something. As children, we rode tricycles because it held us up and kept us from falling. And you see a tripod has three legs so that it can hold up a camera. It keeps the camera from shaking so it's stable enough for the photographer to take a picture. But what do you think happens when we shorten one of those legs? Hmm. I bet the camera would fall. See, the tripod needs all three legs to get the job done. The word Trinity has tri in it as well. So it also means three of something. The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. See, God manifested himself in three persons. Now that you know this, you probably think of the Trinity like this. One plus one plus one equals three. Well, your math is correct, but your equation's all wrong. Think about the matter of light. Science tells us that light is actually constituted of three rays or groups of wavelengths that are distinct from one another. No one of which without the other would be light. Each ray has its own separate function. See, the first originates the light. The second illuminates the light and the third consummates it. The first ray called the invisible light is neither seen nor felt. The second is both seen and felt and the third is not seen, but is felt as heat. Light has three strands, but only one ray. Likewise, God is not one plus one plus one equals three. No, that's not the equation. God is one times one times one, which equals one. You see, the Trinity is not only all for one and one for all, like the three musketeers, but the Trinity is all in one and one in all. See, sometimes we think of God just as John has proclaimed in today's lesson, as the creator of heaven and earth, of light and darkness, of people and animals. And sometimes we think of God as the special baby Jesus who was born in a manger and grew up teaching us to love one another. He's the one who healed the sick, who conquered sin and death, who died, was buried, rose from the dead, and ascended into heaven. But we also just recently celebrated God the Holy Spirit, the one who brought God's people together at Pentecost. But what does that mean? The Holy Spirit is the finished work of Christ. It completes this triune that is responsible for our regeneration. With all the division that is going on in our world, in our country, in our churches, and even in our own families, we must understand that just as the Holy Spirit fell on God's people many years ago, it is not impossible for him to do the same thing today. Just as we believe in God through faith, we must believe in the possibility of the work of our creator, savior, and helper that we call the Trinity. That same faith is what it takes to unite families and churches across different nations, speaking different languages to address issues like poverty, racism, and loneliness. You can live the life that is worthy of the gospel through knowing that through the great three in one, all things are possible. Amen. Yo, glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit, three and yet one.
one in your essence, three in your person. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the Almighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich has sent away from empty. He has come to the help from his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, it will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and is born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, the kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All-powerful God, we honor today those men and women, our sons and daughters, husbands and wives, fathers, brothers, sisters, mothers who have laid down their life for their country. Whether weary or emboldened, quiet or defined, vulnerable or ready when you call them home, their sacrifice is too humbling for words except these uttered in prayer. Loving Lord, bless them forever in your eternal peace. Cherish their spirit, honor their commitment, send them our love, and we will never forget the service that they gave. Amen. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, presenting your word in sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation, in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Wow, that was a very inspiring worship service by some of our young believers. I hope their message inspires you in some way. 
Thank you for watching with us today. Until next time, come and see, go and serve. The peace of the Lord is always with you. And also with you. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit. Three and yet one, one in your essence, three in your person, the same in your nature, distinct in your working. Oh my soul, behold the wonder of the Trinity. Blessed be the Trinity, oh what a mystery. I'll stand amazed for the rest of my days, pouring out my heart in triumph praise. Yeah. Praise God, the Holy Spirit, third person of the Trinity, distinct from Father and Son, yet sharing their divinity. Holy Spirit, we praise you. You don't like the spotlight. You rather point away from yourself and give props to Christ. But yet, because you're God, you deserve veneration. And you're the one responsible for our regeneration. You applied the finished work of Christ to all the elect. You call us effectual. You haven't lost one yet. You comfort us when sin and Satan and the world got us bothered. And it's only by you that we cry out, Abba, Father. You're the spirit of a Adoption, the spirit of truth, you graciously provide your people with the gifts and the fruit. You help us kill sin and disattach us from our idols. If it wasn't for you, we'd never understand the Bible. Cause you wrote it for our life, it will surely suffice. Amazingly, you do it all for the glory of Christ. Yo. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit. Three and yet one, one in your essence, three in your person, the same in your nature, distinct in your working. Oh my soul, behold the wonder of the Trinity. Blessed be the Trinity. Oh, what a mystery. I stand amazed for the rest of my days, pouring out my heart in triumph praise. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit. Three in yet one, one in your essence, three in your person, the same in your nature.